As the Twin Tiers continues to deal with hot, dry weather, some portions of our area are now officially under a drought. Our 18 Storm Team meteorologist Anna Myers joins us from downtown Elmira with those details. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Rhea. Information released today shows that portions of the Twin Tiers are now under a drought. Now, what we mean here by a drought is unusually persistent dry weather that can lead to water supply issues or crop damage. Portions of the Twin Tiers are under a moderate drought, which is the beginning stage, and this is the lowest and least intense level. This update came out Thursday morning and is valid as of Tuesday, July 18th at 8 a.m. This update also does not account for any rainfall that we have seen this week since then. This map and classification is a generalization of areas, so some local areas may be seeing something slightly different. The different levels are as follows, abnormally dry, moderate drought, severe drought, extreme drought, and exceptional drought. The impacts vary from state to state, but for us, the abnormally dry level has some impacts such as crop growth stunted, planting delayed, lawns can brown early, gardens begin to wilt, and surface water levels decline. So far, one local farm in the area is not seeing impacts to their crops. Now, um, there's not too much concern unless it continues. And we still have a lot of time left in the season for things to catch back up and uh, fully mature. Some of the impacts for the moderate drought level are irrigation use increases, hay and grain yields are lower than normal, and reservoir and lake levels are below normal capacity. Use for another few more weeks to a month, then yes, it would yields on the uh, field corn could go down and um, production of the quantity of pumpkins in our patch out there might be a little bit lower. For drought levels beyond this, we begin to see new impacts like major crop and pasture losses and widespread water shortages or restrictions.